Over the coming days, Syria's anti-regime camp will wrangle over reorganizing its ranks, as the United States pushes a proposal to create a new leadership body with fewer Syrian exiles and more military commanders fighting on the ground to bring down President Bashar Assad. But there are serious doubts whether the divided and ideologically diverse factions can come together into a structure the U.S. and its allies can work with. Hundreds of Syrian opposition figures are taking part in a five-day conference starting Sunday in the Qatar capital Doha, seen as the most serious thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased. Push yet to forge a united front to help end the 19-month conflict that has killed over 36,000 people and left much of the country in ruins. For the United States, it represents an opportunity to overhaul serious fragmented opposition leadership which is widely seen as petty, ineffective and cut off from the events on the ground. Washington hopes a more cohesive and representative body can provide a reliable partner, but for against interference by extremists and help bring Syria's allies Russia and China on board with change. The key issue is whether the main thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased. Political opposition group, the Syrian National Council, which consists largely of academics and Syrian exiles, will accept the U.S. backed proposal to set up a new 50-member leadership team with more representatives from inside Syria. Under the new plan, called the Syrian National Initiative, the new leadership would include representatives of the rebels' free Syrian army, political groups and local councils in Syria. The SNC would also be included but its influence would be diluted significantly. Burhan Kalaydan, the senior SNC member, said Saturday that the group is willing to consider the idea, but hasn't thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased. Decided yet? Potential members of the new leadership will discuss the initiative on Thursday. We have agreed to attend the Thursday meeting, but there is no agreement to adopt the initiative as it is. A lion told the Associated Press U.S. officials have long complained that the opposition disarray has held back more robust foreign involvement behind the opposition in its fight to topple Assad. The SNC has been plagued from the start by infighting, splits and frustrations over its failure to broaden its membership. An opposition meeting in Cairo earlier this year descended into chaos, shouting matches thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased and walkouts. We are hopeful that if this leadership structure can emerge in a new and enhanced way, it will be an organization that the international community can work with to better direct assistance, humanitarian assistance, non-lethal assistance, and other kinds of assistance, State Department spokeswoman Victoria Nuland said Friday. She said the U.S. also hopes this new body will encourage more defections and give the Russians and Chinese an address where they can seek answers to questions about a post-sad future. But the SNC is not the only problem. Profound thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased. Difficulties are also raised by Washington's desire to incorporate elements from the ground, those who are on the front line fighting and dying today to obtain their freedom, as U.S. Secretary of State Hillary Rodham Clinton has put it.